The writer of Hebrews explained that faith is being sure that what we hope for will actually happen. Faith is obeying God because we trust Him. By faith, we believe that God created everything from nothing just by speaking. Many people in the Bible had faith, and this pleased God. Abel had faith when he gave an offering to God, and God accepted his offering. We must have faith in order to please God. By faith, we believe that he exists and that he rewards those who trust in him. Noah had faith too. He obeyed God by building an ark to rescue his family. Noah warned other people because he trusted that God was telling the truth when he said a flood was coming. God was pleased with Noah. Abraham had faith when God called him to leave his home. Abraham did not know where he was going, but he obeyed God. God made promises to Abraham, and Abraham believed that God was going to keep his promises. Abraham's wife, Sarah, had faith. She trusted God to give her a family, even though she was too old to have children. Sarah was 90 and Abraham was 100 when they had their son Isaac. Abraham and Sarah went on to have many descendants. God gave them a family as numerous as the stars in the sky. Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, and Moses had faith. Rahab had faith when she hid the Israelite spies in Jericho. King David had faith too. All of these people trusted God and so did many others. Having faith was not easy. Many of these faithful people suffered and they all died before God's great promise. The arrival of Jesus came true, but they believed that God had a wonderful plan. God was pleased with them because they trusted him. God kept his promise to send the Messiah, his own son, Jesus, to rescue people from sin. Jesus is the true hero of the Bible. He gives us faith. We can look to him because in him, all of God's promises will come true.